Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here you go. Joe Joyce is watching Resident Evil films to avoid getting bitten by Cash Ollie this weekend. The juggernaut returns to the ring on Saturday night against Ollie in his first fight back since suffering back-to-back -back drubbings at the hands of Li Zhang. Boxing fans will remember Ollie as the man who bit David Price during their bad-tempered bout in 2019. Ollie had his boxing license suspended and his fight purse withdrawn after being disqualified in the fifth round for sinking his teeth into Price. The British boxer was also fined £10,000 and hasn't fought in a high-profile clash since. But on Saturday at the resort's World Arena in Birmingham, he is being given a second bite at the cherry when he squares off against Joyce in the juggernaut's long-awaited comeback fight. Joyce is well aware of his opponent's reputation and is taking special precautions to ensure he avoids suffering the same fate as Price. During their pre-fight press conference, Queensbury Boxing host Dev Sani revealed Joyce had been watching Resident Evil films to prepare for the fight. When asked to expand, Joyce said, yeah, because there is obviously a lot of biting and when you get bit you turn into a zombie so you tend not to get hit and you want to double tap so that's what I'm going to do Saturday night. A win against Ollie will go a long way in helping Joyce rebuild his career after the pair of defeats to Zhang. In their inaugural encounter back in April of last year, he was stopped inside six rounds due to a gruesome eye injury. A rematch was called five months later, however, Joyce was stopped by Zhang once again, this time by a knockout, as we have seen with the case of Joseph Parker, who lost to Joyce in 2022 and then resurrected his career with big wins over Deontay Wilder and Zhang, it is possible to claw your way back to the top table in the glamour division. Joyce doesn't have to look too far for inspiration. In September 2022, he was at his relentless best when he bludgeoned Joseph Parker to an 11th round defeat. Rather than disappearing to the fringes of their division, Parker regathered himself and has recorded five victories. After upsetting Deontay Wilder and Joyce's conqueror Zhang over the past three months, the 32-year-old is arguably the world's form heavyweight. But at 38 years old, Joyce doesn't have time on his side. Joyce is unsure as to whether Parker's decision over Zhang makes his victory over the New Zealander look even better but, aware that repeating the victory would give him a shortcut right back to the top, he would happily give him the former WBO champion a chance of revenge. It goes both ways, Joyce said. If Zhang had won, does that make it make my loss to him better? This is a very big year for Joyce as he looks to realize his dream of becoming a world champion. Let us know of what you think about all this in the comment section below.